we took that head on right from the outset when I introduced my legislation and said that we we just we reject that notion and we think we have really compelling data uh, from around the country, states who've enacted tax reform, states who've enacted uh, corporate net income tax reduction, that that has led very rapidly to an increase in revenue, if not in year one, certainly by year two. Um, so what we did when we introduced the legislation, now this was not what was enacted, but I think it helped shift the conversation uh, in terms of, of the messaging and helping us make the case in terms of this being rev revenue generating, is the proposal that I introduced at the outset was a performance-based proposal. So we, we, uh, we put Pennsylvania on the path to a 499 rate, but we reduced over three years my proposal from 9.99 to 6.99. And then we put performance-based triggers in. So if the reduced rate um, at the 6.99 rate, if that brought in more revenue than what the IFO was projecting at the old 9.99 rate, uh, and, and I have no doubt that it will and that it would, that that would then trigger a further reduction the following year. And we did that all the way down to 4.99. Uh, so I think that helped shift the conversation. So I think it's twofold. One is the performance-based approach and saying, if, if we just take away this sticker shock of the 9.99 and we communicate to the business community around the country that Pennsylvania is open for business and serious about tax reform, we will see uh, in a dramatic increase in revenue um, in, in the near term.